Hey guys, it's Creative Cami here, that's Creative with K. Welcome back to my channel. I decided that if I wanted to post more on my YouTube, I needed a place to get organized for it, so I decided to pick up a new bullet journal. All of these spreads can be used for any other social media that you guys may be using. So the way I'm setting this up is kind of like how I set up my other one. I put a envelope in the beginning and I made my title page out of washi tape. I tried to use my stencils to make a little place that I can mark what this bullet journal would be used for but the washi tape was too glossy and it didn't really work. I tried multiple markers but it didn't work. Next, I try to make my year at a glance. Basically, a year at a glance is when you can see the full calendar on one page. I printed a calendar because I didn't want to write all of the dates and months on my paper, but I later decided not to do it because the calendars didn't fit on one page. future log. A future log is basically like a year at a glance but it's more spaced out so that you can write future plans and dates on your paper and have them in one place. I do plan out all of my spreads beforehand so you do see me erasing a lot. is my goals page I decided to make three goals and kind of break them down into smaller goals and say why I wanted to do reach those goals so that I wasn't just making goals just to make goals my YouTube tracker. This is where I'm going to track my subscriber count and stuff like that. Um, more things that I can't necessarily control and then on the page that I'm working on now is where I'm going to put my statistics for each video. Just decorating my pages with some stickers and washi tape so that it's not as plain. Now I'm just setting up my statistics page and I'm putting the categories that I want for this chart.
little stone coals and I am going to color it in when I reach those coals. So my camera is about to cut out right here. Now I'm just starting with my name page and I always put a little quote type thing on the page next to it and I got these little squirrely things out of a magazine. Since I haven't been bullet journaling for a long time, I still need to be able to refer back to my key. So this is my page for my key and I always do it on a little flip out thing that you will see in a moment and it's really easy because it doesn't matter where you are in your book you can always refer back to your key this small little tab thing and I'm going to put my key on it and yes I am using a nail tool to help me get my stickers off my sticker paper now I'm just copying down the key that I use for my personal bullet journal and I'm copying it down into the one for my YouTube one, but I did modify it a little bit to suit the needs that I need in this journal. off of Pinterest that I'm going to glue down in my journal. I really like the black and white aesthetic so I printed some pictures that were solely black and white because they also match with the polka dot washi tape that I used for my title page. Once again my camera cut out so here is the final flip through of my journal. you guys liked it make sure to subscribe turn on the bell and like also make sure to check out last week's video stay safe